Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can recreate the dance party project inside of Scratch. So this was originally for Scratch Junior, but now we're gonna do it in Scratch. So let's take a look at the original. So this project introduced the wind green flag is pressed, it will cause multiple sprites to dance. Okay, and, and that's it. So now let's talk about what this looks like inside of Scratch. So when we press the green flag, it's going to cause these three sprites to do the same style of dance that they were just doing in Scratch Jr. Okay, so all of the same ideas, but using Scratch. So let's click C inside to see what this looks like. So you notice that there are two copies of each one of the sprites in here. One is using the icon blocks, and then the other is using the XY coordinates. So let's take a look at these. So our scratch cat uses the exact same parameters as before. So 2, 12, 2, 12, 1, 1, 2, 2. And that is the exact same code that you see in Scratch Junior. So for example, 2, 12, 2, 12, 1, 1, 2, 2. This is what it looks like in Scratch Junior. And this is what it looks like in Scratch. So same idea. So this is the easiest way to integrate this into Scratch. Now, if you want to, you could also use some of the XY coordinates if you're interested in doing this with maybe some old, the older kids. So you can have it so change Y, so that'll make it go up, and then take away Y, which will make it go down. You can have it turn, and then you can have it change Y again. So more complicated, but again, this is all about experimenting. It's not about getting the right answer and making sure that everybody has 24 and 15 for the turns. That's not the point of this. The point is to get kids to create any kind of goofy dance they want. So it could be any number they want for any one of these. It could be a billion and four, like doesn't matter, okay? So that's for the Scratch Cat. Now it's the same thing for Giga. So same idea in terms of having the icon blocks here. The only thing that's added is our go to, which just makes it go back to this particular location, the starting location. So again, the easy way to do this is whenever you move the sprite, you'll see that it changes right here. So all you have to do to tell kids is like, if you want to go to a specific spot, drag your sprite over there then drag over your go to block or your glide block. Oops, not that one, this one. And that'll make them go to that location. So for example, if I click, now Giga goes back up there. Okay, so pretty simple. Also have the XY version if you wanna take a look at that. And then we have the icon base code for our duck and the XY code for our duck. So same idea, the point of this is to teach kids how to add in multiple sprites in order to make them all run at the same time by pressing the green flag. So all they're gonna really need to learn how to do is add in this particular block for either the icons or the motion blocks. So that's it. I hope you have fun creating your own project, your own dance party inside of Scratch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.